The GPS clip wrap for Android Mobile is a smart, GPS-savvy digital assistant for photographers who, despite their use of cameras and not equipped with GPS, nonetheless wanted to geotag their photos in a simple batch process. Manual geotagging efforts and lengthy photo-by-photo drag-drop processes are now a thing of the past. GPS Clipper updates an album of non-GPS photos into the fully mapped photo array that you see on the right-hand side of the display. Notice the series of tiny icons and arranged in a square in the center of the map display. Before running GPS Clipper, there was no geotag latitude, longitude in any of the photos, and the map that you see would have been blank. After running the app and waiting about 25 seconds for a batch process to geotag and to update each of the album's 35 photos, you can see the transformation. A fully mapped photo album and an icon marking the spot on the map where each photo was taken. Positioning the photos in the map uses the phone's features for location and time, and I'd like to talk a little more about location data recorded on the phone. This is a picture view of location data collected by an app called MyTracks that produces latitude, longitude data while it runs on the phone. This, this geodata is then used by a GPS Clipper app for updating geotags on photos. The center of the map contains a red line trace covering a city walk to the Mission neighborhood in San Francisco. Beginning in the lower right-hand corner of the red square, progressing counterclockwise, the walk occurred over a window in time of 50 minutes. The lines connect a series of points that each include latitude, longitude, and time. The times listed in the lower left show the walk beginning at 10.27 a.m. and lasting through 11.16 a.m. This is a file list of GPX files on the phone, each of which contain data for successive walks or trips like we just looked at. Each of the files you see here defines a red line mapped trace with latitude longitude for a different trip. As you can see along the top, these files are organized in the MyTrax GPX folder of the phone. To return to the idea of a smart digital assistant for photographers, the core feature of the GPS Clipper app is an update process that knows how to apply the latitude longitude data in one of these GPX trip files to a matched album of photographs. Let's go back to the detailed GPS clipper view of the photo album that's had latitude and longitude applied. We're going to open up one of the pictures in the lower right. There's a slightly more detailed view. Now we're going to view full size. Let's open up the full size and then the full details. This is a picture of the exit information for a photo in an album. Originally, the highlighted data, the latitude and longitude, would not have been there because the camera doesn't have GPS, the camera doesn't record it. The reason it's in this picture is that GPS Clipper app has already run and inserted latitude and longitude. Now let's look at the date and time that the, that the photo was originally taken. If you look here, you can see this photo was taken at 10.31.05 in the morning on 3.15. Now remember that. GPS Clipper app to work right, you have to get the correct setting for the camera clock. And here we're looking at an example. The minutes have to be the same as the, the clock on your phone, and daylight savings also has to coincide with the phone. Okay, one more time, we're going to take a look at the detailed uh, GPS Clipper photo album. We're going to drill down on the EXIF data for one picture and compare it to what the latitude G GPX readings captured on the phone were. So first going into the picture, down here we're going to take a look at this picture. 
and we're going to open it up full size. And there you can see the, the picture was taken on the corner of Florida and 24th Street. You can see that on the street sign. So now we're going to open up the full details page. And here in the full details page, the key piece of information for the, the GPS Clipper program is what time it was taken. And there you see this picture at the corner of Florida and 24th was taken at 1031 in the morning on, on March 15th. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the latitude longitude information that we collected on the phone. This is no longer the camera, now it's the phone. And we're going to look at the same time, 1031, where were we? And there you see over on the right-hand side at 1031, the gumdrop is highlighted is at the corner of 24th and Florida where the picture was taken. So if, if the clocks are synchronized, this is a very accurate way of automatically applying latitude and longitude to your photo album.